Japan, the country of long hours and compulsory after-work socializing, has begun to tell its employees that they shouldn't be working so hard, and they've been backed by the government. Several companies have said that they want their employees to go home. Others have started to offer them shorter working hours. Lindsay Whip is assistant news editor at the Financial Times and was for many years a Tokyo correspondent. Lindsay, how big a change is this? Potentially, Michael, it could be a big change. Um, depending on whether the companies themselves, not just the big ones like fast retailing that we note in the story and RICO, but all of them actually implement what the government wants them to do, that trickle-down effect I think will be the big issue. Do you have any personal reminiscences, personal memories of the long working hours culture? If you would ask them, look, why, why do you not go take the four weeks holidays that you're given every year? And um, some people I spoke to would say, well, nobody else will be able to do my job which, coming from a different culture, sounds quite extraordinary. But that sort of sense of um, commitment to the job is so strong that I think people felt bad for, for leaving early or for, for taking those holidays. Why do you think Japanese companies and the Japanese government want to make this change? Is it to do with an ageing population, lower productivity? What, what's driving it, do you think? I think it's a mixture of all those factors, actually. I mean, if you look at um, unemployment levels in Japan, they're extremely low. Um, in the three percentage point range and then also on top of that you like you say there's demographic changes whereby you've got more and more people leaving for retirement and you're not being replenished with other workers particularly because there's no real immigration um, and so that's combined with the extremely low productivity levels that you see compared with say a place like France which is known for taking all of the holidays that they're granted and have shorter working weeks then it makes sense that you want to have a more efficient workforce um, and also, on top of that, a workforce which is more suitable for women who have um, several things to juggle, um, particularly because there's still very much a society, it's, Japan is still very much a society where women will do a lot more of the looking after children. Is this part of a change? Are we seeing women enter the work, entering the workforce in greater numbers? Is this a way to try and bring more women into the workforce? Potentially, yes, if it's actually carried through. And I think that's a big question, is there are certain companies that, do, that are implementing this and they're leading the way. But there are also very um, old, much older companies or companies perhaps that can't afford to employ lots of people who may find it difficult to include the, these, um, this legislation into their, into their um, company rules. Is it going to work? I mean, uh, we saw the health ministry in Japan trying to get people to go home by switching off the lights at 10 o'clock, and yet they stayed on. Is it really going to change the way people operate and work in Japan? Um, I think it depends on how um, efficiently and how um, stringently they implement these rules. Um, it's quite funny really given that you know this sort of leading example of the health ministry and then turning the lights out at 10 p.m. and that's still not enough it's it's extraordinary in another context but I think the sort of other question to think about is what will people do if they do leave early a country with a culture where they've, they've got such a high work ethic getting over the fact they might feel that they should be doing something when they're not and then on top of that well what do you do if you're not doing that um, do you hang out with your wife more or your friends or your family? Do you have the money to go out and spend now that you're not getting paid the overtime? All of those are huge questions that still need to be answered. Um, it could potentially work, but like many things in Japan, change takes a long time. Lindsay Whip, thank you very much. Thank you.